And finally, with the last fling now open, we'll tell you how to plan for the perfect Labor Day weekend. Gates are open and the Naperville JCs are ready for the holiday weekend. So this year, we are so excited okay, for the I entertainment that, that we have lined here. up, the family fun that we have lined up, the carnival that we have lined up, some of our business expo partners that we have lined up. There's so many different things going on um, in and throughout downtown Naperville over Labor Day weekend that there's something for everyone, that's for sure. This year's entertainment is top notch. While Saturday, Sunday, and Monday shows will charge admission, you can catch free entertainment on the main stage Friday night. It's free to get onto the Rotary Hill here for our entertainment. We figured people might be out and about running to football games or running errands, and so why not stop by free admission, maybe grab a couple beers or a Pepsi and, and watch some uh, great tribute bands. So we have Foreigner's Journey and one of these nights, two great tribute bands on our main stage, free to get into. Saturday night, guests can enjoy music from the Bodines, and Sunday takes us back to the 90s, featuring the Summerland Tour with Sugar Ray, Everclear, Lit, and Sponge. While Monday is Jamie Johnson and Adam Wakefield from The Voice. Parking and street closures are always a concern for the fling, and this year is no different. However, there are options to make getting to Jackson Avenue simple. So let alone the fact that downtown Naperville in general is an easy place to get to, we're going to have shuttles running to and from with the train station and various different places to park. And there's all kinds of places all around downtown Naperville. So everything can be found at lastfling.org. The Last Fling wraps up Monday, September 5th with the Rooster 5K, Fling Mile, and Labor Day Parade, which you can catch on NCTV 17 and NCTV17.com.